All right, you're good. Welcome everybody to our Wednesday night Epic Empire team call. I'm so excited to have the the incredible JJ on our call. I don't even know if that's his name. I just <laughs> call him by his IG handle. Um, isn't that weird how that works? Like, do you ever get those IG names? You're like Red Flower Number Twenty Two. I don't know who you are, but that's your name. <laughs> um, so, welcome to tonight's call. I'm so pumped for the um, wisdom that you're going to get tonight. I know that's going to be beneficial for your business. But before we get started on our guest speaker, I want to go over a few announcements and make sure that we have we're all on the same page for um the rest of the month of august it's crazy like we're already getting like halfway point of august it's insane it's going by fast kids are gonna go back to school soon so we're like Whew, finally mama gets a break <laughs> i know that i need it um so our challenge group is uh in full like the sneak peek is in what's full what was i even saying full whatever <laughs> it is running it's going we have our call to action out our challengers are ordering their challenge packs um, and they're getting everything they need. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why that somebody might have thought this, but they were like, I didn't know we were allowed in there. You guys, any challenge group I run, any Epic Empire coach is allowed to be in it. So it is a team wide group. I've been doing team wide team team wide groups because I feel like um, it's really beneficial, for, especially for our newer coaches who don't feel comfortable running challenge groups to take part in that. And so I kind of wanted to keep going with it. It's been really great so far. Lift 4 uh, group has been going really well and everybody's killing it there. So this group starts on the 20th. If you aren't a part of a challenge group or you have customers that want to jump in on this, it's called Back to You, Back to School, Back to You. And our whole concept is the kids are going back to school. It's time to get our life back into order. We've been on vacations. We've been um, off schedule and now it's time to get back on the schedule if you watch my social media at all that's kind of been my marketing plan so far is that I'm showing you know life has been chaotic but now it's time to really focus on a routine again um, and within this challenge group your customers and your yourself will be doing um, the <laughs> Lindsay Duran you are throwing me off stop giggling um, you will be doing a fitness program you will be doing uh, obviously the nutrition plan attached to that fitness program, but together we're gonna to read this book. I don't know if you guys have picked it up. Mine just came in the mail today. I'm super excited about Girl, Wash Your Face. I know it's probably something I need to read. Um, so Rachel Hollis is incredible. If you guys have not checked her out, her social media pages are wonderful. Um, really great content. I like read some of her stuff for inspiration on what to post sometimes because I'm like, I'm just dead right now. I don't really know what to share in terms of what I'm going through. And so sometimes her content really stirs my mind and my heart and what I want to um, share with my audience. So I know that I'm going to get a lot of great stuff out of this. So if you're not in our group and you don't really want to participate in the challenge group side of it and you want to participate in kind of a book club side of it, jump in there. We're going to be doing this together. I am not a book reader, not a fan. I'm an audible kind of girl. Um, but I'm excited. I always like to get the hard copy because if I want to quote something that she wrote, I don't want to have to sit there and listen to it 15 times. I want to have it right here. Apparently in the audible, she actually reads it in her own voice and it's really incredible because she's super passionate when she speaks. Ren's shaking her head. She's super passionate when she speaks. And so listening to audible might actually be a really good thing. Um, cause I know I don't read like that. I read a paragraph and then I'll read it like four more times. So I'm very ADD. Um, all right. So that is our challenge group announcements. Remember super Saturday weekend is October 21st. So save the date for that. Um, here in the DC area, we have celebrity trainer Sagi Kalev coming. <laughs> he is the, uh, body beast guy. If you're not familiar with his name, um, he will be coming to DC and there are Super Saturdays held all over the country. So if you want to attend one, make sure you go ahead and check it out in the back office, get your tickets and be there because it definitely attending events is something that will help move the needle forward in your business. And it's always been a priority of mine um, to make sure that I'm at an event every Super Saturday. So that's what we got going on there. Don't forget, we have new coach calls every Wednesday. They're either in the morning or they're at night. So they alternate. Tonight we had a new coach call at eight o'clock and it was just Lindsay and I on so we chit chatted the whole time it was great um, but next Wednesday it will be in the morning so check the team calendar in our page 
and jump on. You don't have to be one of my personally sponsored coaches. You can be anywhere within Epic Empire's downline and you can jump on and we can discuss some of new coach topics. All right, and then we have coffee chats at 9 a.m. every Monday morning. Anybody's welcome to join and it's very laid back. We just kind of discuss things that are going on in your business. All right, enough of my jabber. I'm so pumped to introduce this incredible dude. Um, I don't even remember how I ran across him, but I'm gonna look online. Nicole is gonna mute lines because apparently some of these lines I've muted. Um, so JJ and I've been working together for a few months on um, on my IG account, and when I started with him, I want to say that I was. Gosh, I don't know what my numbers were. They were really bad. Um, the only reason why I think I broke above 10,000, which is we love because we get the swipe up option and the swipe up option in our IG stories allows us to really funnel um, people into our challenge group a lot more fluidly rather than having to fill out an application. They can go directly to whatever link we want them to go to. Um, but I got on the national wake up call. That's the only reason why I got above 10,000. Um, if you guys are, are new coaches, the national wake up call is for the whole coach network and I guest spoke on it on Instagram, actually. And so I got a lot of followers, they were all coaches. And I'm like, I need to get outside of like the coach network and I need to reach new people. I need more engagement on my IG page. And I don't know if you guys have felt this and I know I've talked about it a few times on calls, but um, you know, Facebook is fun and all, but the way things are looking in the social media world, and if you ask any 19 year old, 25 year old, they'll say, I don't even have a Facebook page. Like Facebook's for old people. And I'm like, really? <laughs> You're making me feel really bad. Um, and so I choose where it's at in terms of uh, the business that we're in. And it's a really easy way to interact with people um, as opposed to Facebook, which people on Facebook feel really guarded. They feel like this is my personal space. This is my family photos. And IG is a place where you can just kind of open up. So I'm going to hush now and give the floor to JJ. JJ is a um, Instagram professional and has done an incredible job. I know with my account and a few other coaches on our team's accounts. And so I wanted, I wanted to bring him on just so he give, you know, he charges, he charges to work your account, but he wanted to come on and just give a few tips to help you guys out so that you could um, maybe make a bigger, bigger impact on Instagram. So we're going to unmute your line, JJ, and then give you the floor. If you guys have questions, feel free to type them in the chat. Actually, I can't unmute. Nicola, can you unmute JJ's line? Oh, you're good. All right. What's up, homie? You're unmuted. Hey, everybody. I, I am uh, tuning in right now from Boulder, Colorado, and it's uh, good to use this application. I've never used Zoom before, so this is uh, quite overwhelming seeing so many faces. Um, so, you know, when I'm, when I'm giving uh, people help on Instagram, I typically have a lot of questions asked to me from everyone that I work with. So I don't know how Zoom works, but I'll just quickly go through some bullet points of of uh, just some tips and then I can open it up to to all of you to ask yeah. some questions and I can and answer them one by one because um, I think that's probably going to be the best way because everyone has like case by case um, scenarios that they need help with and so yeah I'll dive right into it so uh, I got started in Instagram because uh, my agent told me to so just a little background on, on who I am. I am a TV host, social media influencer, and I got into social media because one of my agents said that social media is going to be where, it, where it's going to be in the future, and that was four years ago. And so uh, I didn't believe him, and, but I was really reluctant. I started um, taking photos and posting on, on my Twitter, and mainly Twitter, and then I started to, to use Instagram. And then uh, slowly, I, I really got the hang of how to use Instagram and um, how to not only use Instagram, but um, take advantage of the platform and use it to uh, make money off of it. And, um, and now I'm, you know, I'm coaching Jatana here um, on her Instagram uh, but you, there's also another way you can make money on Instagram. Actually, the, my big source of income um, 
besides my uh, celebrity cat, Simon, now, who got big through, he was actually a test account. Um, uh, so I, I, Simon was my, Simon, my cat, was my first Instagram client. And uh, his account, um, if you guys know who Backpacking Kitty is, he kind of took off um, from being a test account. And so it's a funny story, but now he, um, he makes half of my income. So uh, yeah, cat does that. So uh, you can make money through Instagram, through uh, campaigns with companies. And so I'm not exactly sure, you know, I've, I've kind of been watching Jatana and, and her, in her coaching, but I'm still not sure how exactly all of you guys make money. It's, it fascinates me. I, I, I follow some of you guys religiously that are on this call right now, and I'm just constantly just in awe with what you guys do and trying to figure it out. Um, and I, it's, I feel like it's just like this mysterious club that you guys all belong to. And yeah, so <laughs> that to me is an anomaly, but um, you never cannot have enough sources of income. And uh, it's always important uh, as I'm, sure all of you guys are kind of trying to work um, as your own uh, self-employed. So having multiple sources of income is kind of a smart thing. So Instagram is a really cool platform to be able to be self-employed and and live on your terms. And with that, I will get to kind of some tips on how I've made my Instagram profitable and I've learned to grow my own accounts. So uh, one of the big tips I think with your Instagram account is to have a good mission that uh, you're uh, ha- having, having an angle really is what this is about. So you, you want to, you want to be as true and authentic to yourself as possible because no one else can be that. And the closer you are to your authenticity the um, more you're going to do well in having an Instagram that's going to stand out because um, it, you know you, everyone has different ingredients that are going to make them themselves and you can put the most random things together. Like for instance, if you're a fitness coach, but you also like uh, butterflies, well, now your angle is butterflies and fitness. And that might be something that is really unique and you can really kind of utilize that. I found out that my angle was, uh, you know, I started out, the whole reason I got into media was because of my love for nature and the outdoors and which is why I live in the mountains now. And, um, and that was kind of how I started it. I was just putting um, beautiful nature scenery on my Instagram no pictures of even myself on it actually. And because no one at the time really knew who I was and, and, but they knew what, you know, they knew what sunrises and sunsets and nature looked like. So everyone could relate to that. So uh, that was kind of my starting angle. And uh, as time went on, um, my angle evolved and now it includes my cat Simon because he's the star of the show now. And, uh, (laughs) Pretty much, uh, I make sure I have a, I have him in pretty much all of my images because if I don't, all of my comments are, where is Simon? Where's Simon? Where's Simon? No one cares about me. They care about where's Simon. So that is my angle. And uh, it's so important to know your angle and to know your, uh, just your theme, if you will, your, your mission statement and be committed to it. And, and, and I think that's like the most important thing that you can really do. Cause I've, I've seen a lot of Instagram accounts that seem really, uh, scattered they uh, they put a lot of their personal photos on it, uh, photos of their kids, their pets, food that they're eating, um, what they look like when they wake up, um, caught what they're, you know, everything that you can think of. And it lacks a thread and not having a uh, congruent theme um, makes it very hard for people to grasp when they see your page. And you got to look at it like um, when you watch a short film or uh, you know, a film that's maybe 30 seconds long, you need to be able to, to know who the character is and what the character's motive is within, within the first 30 seconds, really, or even 15 seconds. Because sometimes 
we live in such a, uh, a quick paced uh, life now that uh, we Snapchats or Instagram stories are 15 seconds long. So you have to be able to tell the story within that short amount of period of time. And it's really important when people go to your Instagram page for them to see all of your pictures and register immediately what it is that you are and, and being able to see that visually through the images. So it's so important to have your images tell a story. And that is why having a theme and being consistent to that theme is essential to having an Instagram account that's really going to stand out. And uh, the accounts that do really, really well are the ones that have that sort of theme. Now, this is, this is celebrities out of, this, out of this picture right now. So um, celebrity profiles, I don't even want to talk about right now because they're famous for other reasons. But we are talking about how you grow your Instagram account through social media. So those are the accounts that I'm really talking about here. Because once you're a celebrity, you can post whatever the hell you want and people are going to like it no matter what. But in order to get to that level through Instagram, you have to play by the rules. And part of the rules is knowing your theme. And I think that's, that, can go, um, that can connect with what you guys are doing right now with uh, just with your, your coaching. It's important to know your goals, to, to know your mission statement, um, to be really clear about it, and to live and breathe it. So important to live and breathe this. And, um, that's kind of going into my next point is creating really good habits and sticking to it. This is not something, if you guys are looking to grow your account and then reach 10,000 and then just, you know, put it on auto, well, you're, it's not going to, it's not going to just keep growing on its own. You have to, to really, uh, live and breathe this, uh, every day. And, and, and Jatana is amazing. She's like, she is, uh, how do I say this? Like, she is a classic example of what to do uh, right. And uh, that's like actually why I love to use her as a comparison client to when people ask me like, what, what, what should my Instagram look like? Um, because she's very good about keeping a consistent, uh, con her consistency and, um, you know, making sure that she posts a lot, um, posts once a day, posts once a day or every couple of days. But have a good, you know, regular pattern of posting. And um, she's really good at stories. And that's another thing we're going to talk about next. But um, stories are going to be really key as well. Uh, but just you have to have uh, a really, just as you guys are doing your coaching and you're doing your own personal fitness, uh, the amount of dedication that you have to your fitness is what you need to have towards your Instagram. Because I believe that um, the things that are going to do the best in your life are the things that you give the most attention to. And um, obviously, we can't be great at everything, but um, the things that we do put our attention to will become great eventually. So uh, it might seem like a really frustrating thing that you're posting photos every day, but no one's really liking them. And you know, it's like, what's the point? But that is the point. The point is that if you don't, if you give up and you're not consistent, then it will never work. And it may take a couple of years for it to really take off, but you have to keep going no matter what. And just as you guys are keeping going with your own fitness plans, and your own coaching, you have to keep going with Instagram posting and growing. Um, even, even myself, I'm, I'm at, you know, 250 plus thousand right now, I am still extremely consistent and diligent with my posting. And um, I'm still applying all these rules and to myself because you can never be too big. I mean, great examples. Look at your biggest corporations out there from Disney to, to Coca-Cola to Apple. They have, they're the ones that are putting the most money towards marketing because even though they're, they're at what you would call the top, um, they're still trying to hold their place there. And it's, and, and it's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of um, movement uh, and energy that goes into marketing. And so, you know, you got to pay to play. 
Uh, I always look at it like a percentage of my budget needs to go towards my marketing and advertising um, if you want to keep going. And, and, and since you guys are all self-employed, I'm assuming, and you know, working on coaching, if you want to get more coaches to work with you, you need to put money into your advertising and marketing. Just, it's just something that I, even I do. I have a publicist and that's a whole other topic we can get into later. But um, so Instagram stories, that is another really cool key thing to not only developing your brand, but developing your voice and allowing your audience to connect with you. There are a lot of accounts that might have a lot of beautiful pictures, but we don't really know who, who this account is. We see these pictures, but we're not connecting to it. And I actually think Jatana does a way better job, way, way, way better at stories than I do. And so does um, Lindsay Duran. She's also on this call too. Um, she does really good at like talking to the camera. And it's so important to, to really be vulnerable. If you're having a bad day, share it with the world. Even though when you do have a bad day, I'll tell you this, and you're like, hey, I'm depressed. People will um, be like, you shouldn't be so depressed. You shouldn't like, you know, you're, you're, everything's going so well in your life. Like, I don't know why anything's wrong. And, you know, it's like, can I just have a bad day? Um, but even with that, you know, people like vulnerability. They like to know that you're, you know, they like to, to see the realness and the rawness. And the more, you know, Jatana posted a picture of herself without makeup the other day. And yeah, she's going to get some flack from some people. Um, but she's going to get a lot of support because people like that real authenticity. And that is actually why celebrities become even bigger celebrities because it's usually the celebrities that have, you know, the drug problems or some, some sort of thing is, you know, they become, they become the underdogs and then we want to like vote, you know, like we want to like raise them up and we want to, to help them become, uh, to, to, to recover again. Those are usually the people that like, you know, because they're real, we can start to relate because we're human and in humans constantly make mistakes. And so when we see someone else that's struggling, we can relate to that. But if we see someone who's always doing good all the time, well, I mean, I'll be honest, I get a little envious of them. I'm like, come on, that, you have to have like some struggles. So struggles help us to relate to our audience. And that is key to building a following is relatability. You want to make your content as relatable as possible. And going back a little bit to my content that I used to post, I used to post um, a lot of climbing pictures where I was ice climbing or climbing um, 20,000 foot peaks. And I thought that was really cool because I, you know, I, I love climbing, but my audience didn't respond to it as well because they looked at that like, oh, that's really cool. I wish I could do that, but they couldn't put themselves in there. But when you, but when I started posting pictures with Simon, who's a cat, well, a lot of people have cats um, and, and, and or pets. And so people can relate to that. It's very relatable. So, you know, when you're making stories that, um, that kind of share your struggles and if you're like competing for a race or you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to hit a certain goal, um, that's where you're going to really gain um, a support group because people like to relate to what you're doing. And, and that's what's going to really start to, to drive the, the traction. And I've been watching Jatana's comments on her, her posts, and she's in the hundreds in her comments. And it's because she's posting these really relatable uh, topics that people can connect with. So it's very important if you want to get a lot of engagement on your posts that you, that you um, share a little about who you are. You know, you, you provide that little like, hey, you know, I'm not having such a good day. I'm dealing with depression. I'm dealing with this sort of illness. You know, I'm, I'm dealing, you know, I, I, I'm having relationship problems, whatever it might be. Share a little piece of yourself and more people will connect to you. The more you share, the more you'll get. That's how the, that's how the world works. Um, and I'm, and I, I have not totally mastered that or I would be like a billionaire right now or something, you know, something like that, but <laughs> I will eventually get that. Um, but, um, that, but so besides Instagram stories, which are definitely key in building your following and besides posting really good content with your angles, just little tips on how to get more engagement with your own posts is in a post after you put a little story or a quote or, you know, inside of who you are uh, in your picture, uh, ask a question, end with a question. Hey, you know, going on a hike, 
Um, what do you think of my sunrise? You know, what do you, would you want to come here? Tag a friend that would want to, would, would want to come here too. Ending with the question is great because now you're prompting them to answer. And, um, and then hashtags, of course, you always want to have 30 hashtags, different hashtags, 30 different hashtags for each post. And I usually put that in my comment, uh, my first comment, not in my caption, because if it's in the caption, it starts to become spammy. So in your comment. And, um, and then this is very key. Anytime someone responds to your posts, you want to respond to every single person. That's right. Every single person. And you want to, you, and I, and someone like me who has over, you know, a couple hundred thousand, I still respond to every single person. Um, and if you can't respond to it, pay an assistant that can respond them to you for you, but you must respond to them. And here's the key. Here's the secret here. You want to respond with a question. Always respond with questions. Not someone's be like, oh, you're so pretty. Thank you. No. Thank you. You're, thank you. What do you do to keep yourself in shape? Thank you. How's your day? Always ask a question back. And then they're going to come back. My day was great. Oh, that's so amazing to hear. What, what, what did you do today? You keep the conversation going because that's how you're going to build your followers. Your followers are going to become your super fans. They're going to really like, they're literally going to comment on every single thing eventually. And then you're going to know who they are and you're going to start to remember what countries they're from, like everything about, you'll start to remember and they're going to literally remember everything. They'll create calendars about you. Like, I mean, it just, it, it gets pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> so then um, the, the other thing I was going to mention is I think um, sometimes I've seen this in some of your guys' stuff in your Instagram stories, you'll do questions in your Instagram stories. Like you'll be like, Hey, you know, do you guys have questions for me? It's always good to talk to your audience and like have them um, come up with uh, uh, responses for you. Polls, having polls, doing a lot of in interactivity where your audience can respond back is really key. Um, and then trying to think if there's anything else I want to go over with y'all about. Um, I think that's really the most important thing though with building your, your following is that you really want them to, um, you really want to just keep asking them questions and get to know who they are. And, and I even go as far as when they're speaking to me in Spanish, I'll use my translator to respond to them in Spanish and ask them questions in Spanish. I do it to Spanish, Portuguese, Swedish. Um, you know, I have my translator out and I'm just responding in all different countries, languages. So, um, it's just like, you know, it's, it's, it, you gotta have fun with it. Yeah. Um, but it's, but the main, the most important thing is consistency dedication, live and breathe it. If you can do those things, you're going to have a really successful account. And um, as I've said, as I said before, uh, as you guys are investing in your own bodies and investing in your own career, you definitely want to put money into um, advertising. So that includes, um, you know, don't be afraid to boost your posts. I, I definitely boost some of my posts from time to time. Um, you know, don't be afraid to pay for a publicist or to pay for marketing because that will come back. You will get a return on investment. And even someone like myself who actually runs a growth service, um, I have my own publicist and my own PR team to help get my content out there. Um, and a topic that I didn't even get into today, but is something that I'm more than happy to share with you guys at a different time or even maybe briefly now is how to actually make money on Instagram and uh, through, through companies. And if you notice, if you go to my Instagram, you'll notice that a lot, actually pretty much every one of my posts is sponsored now. So um, different companies pay me to promote their products organically through my posts. So that can become pretty lucrative. And right now this is hot. So get on it now um, and make money now while it is working. I have no idea how long this is gonna last. Like everything in technology, it's constantly moving. So do it now because tomorrow it might not be there. For sure. So I'll open this up to y'all, you, if you guys have any questions, but I'm, thanks. I'm sure that's amazing. And I'm sure they have questions. I know I have questions. I wrote down while you were talking. Um, and he's, he's so funny. He'll be like, Jatana, why aren't you commenting? Why aren't you asking questions? And it's so true. I mean, sometimes I get frozen when people comment on my posts. Um, there are some that are really obvious. 
that I can ask a question, but I have to like force myself to think. I mean, if somebody puts like hot flames, I'm like, do you like fire? <laughs> I don't know what to put with that, but I get a lot of weirdos yeah. out there. But um, if, if people are commenting on your posts, I, I, think that it's helping your algorithms when, especially when you first post, actually I know that within Beachbody I've been a part of pods where we will be groups of coaches and somebody says, all right, I just posted and all of us go in there and we start interacting with it as much as possible within the first 30 minutes of the post going up so that IG sees it as like, oh wow, this is a hot post. People are liking it. Let me put it in more um, people's faces or maybe in the explore page. Um, and so making sure as soon as you post, as you start getting comments, don't wait the next day to comment back. I would say as soon as it's hot, keep commenting, keep responding, asking the questions like JJ said, so that you can create even more engagement so that it doesn't just go stale. Um, and sometimes it's kind of awkward. You gotta like figure out how to, <laughs> how you're going to respond to this random person that you don't know <laughs> that's yeah. putting flames on your post. <laughs> but, um, uh, what else also? Hashtags, um, he said, put them in your comment section instead of in the actual post. Um, I, I ha usually the ones that I put in my posts are fun, playful ones that there wouldn't be anybody following, um, girl, best girls in the world kind of thing. Um, but in my actual comments, I post and then immediately I'll put my hashtags in there. And we've covered hashtags sometimes a little bit on calls, team calls before. And I try to focus on hashtags that are not going to be a ton of each body coaches a ton of people that are going to be networking in the same network i'm working in i hashtag blonde bob i've said that till i was blue in the face um i know that Lindsay does pcos because it's something that she deals with and so finding those ones for you um that are going to put you in a circuit of people that you can relate to i'm telling you if you do things like mom life boy mom most likely you're going to get a bunch of people that are beach body coaches. And that's not who you're trying to reach. You're trying to find new people that you can connect with and help them with their health and fitness. So I am going to look into the chat here and see what questions we have. Um, Lindsay said, how do you get your comments and engagement up? That's for you, JJ. Uh, <laughs> how do you, how do so, you get people, how do yeah. you get more likes and comments on your posts? Uh, you, well, first, you just, um, I'm sure when you guys are posting something that someone's going to comment on it. And even if you start with one uh, follower who's commenting, ask them a question and they're going to then respond and then ask them another question. And then you might have 30 comments that are just for one person, uh, but at least you've just now created a super fan. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, over time it will build. Um, mm -hmm. So that it's really just being consistent with it and uh, posting sometimes like I'll, I'll tag, I'll tag people and I'll ask them, Hey, I'll be like, Hey, Jatana, what do you think of this new product I'm using? Mm -hmm. And so then I'll like Jatana will ha like, we'll see that. Oh, I need to respond to, you know, JJ's post cause he's, he literally just called me out. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do that if you'd like, that can sometimes work. Um, you can send messages to your friends. Hey, can you comment on this? Um, sometimes if there's a product that I really need to get a lot of comments on, I'll, I'll say, Hey, can you like give your opinion on this product? And, um, and then uh, they'll uh, comment on it. So that I means that's, that's one way you can do it. I definitely do not, do not recommend comment pods you will get shadow banned so do not if you're part of comment bands or like band like lark part of comment pods or like pods i would say stop using those or it is going to greatly hurt your engagement uh what i would do instead is um text your friends hey comment on my photo or um you know send messages to friends in your instagram to comment on your photo do it, that you can do it in the team page. We have a Facebook team page. Post. <laughs> if you do a call to action on your IG page that you're wanting people to really engage with and respond with, post it in the team page and say, hey, I just did my call to action. You guys go and comment. That way it creates more engagement and maybe your algorithms on that particular post will go up. Um, people are asking about partners and sponsors. Um, I will give a little feedback on that. 
Uh, I, I know that our main focus, just like JJ said, kind of stay within your wheelhouse. You don't want to water down your message, basically. If you have a particular message that is your business, right? Our business is health and fitness. Um, we don't want to water it down too much. Now I've had, now that my account has grown, um, a lot of emails pouring in for, do you want to try my headbands? Do you want to try my booty bands? Do you want to try this lip gloss? Do you want to try these curling irons? I mean, it's cool. I get free products to try. Um, but I want to be careful. And, and the nice thing is, is I can use stories. Like I can use stories to um, talk about products that I do enjoy, but I don't want my audience to, to feel like I am, um, I don't know an advertisement for a ton of things. So I just try to be really careful with that. Um, but as you grow your account, you will start to get people messaging you to try their products out and to give your opinion on them. So I've, I've done the teeth, teeth whitening, they'll give you product codes. And the way the discount code goes is as they people use your discount, you get a pro portion of proceeds to that. And it actually has no conflict with the Beachbody MLM, because you're not a part of a network marketing, um, it, you're just being an influencer for that particular product. So, like the booty bands, for example, it works great because I use them. Like I personally love. You guys know when you do a day obsession and you're doing those booty moves and your roll, your bands roll up. Well, the uh, Hope Fitness Gear ones that I use, I have a discount code Jatana. They send me the product, I use them. I use them in my workouts. Then I can tell my audience these booty bands are amazing. When you do your workout, they won't roll up. And then I get a portion of every booty band that's sold with the discount code Jatana. So that's kind of how partnerships or sponsors work. Um, and obviously JJ is like to the nth degree, like that is his business. Um, so yeah, just to answer those questions, I saw that in the chat. Um, let's see, somebody want to know, how do you come up with the hashtags that you post or 30 hashtags? Yes. So, um, and then, and just to kind of like follow up, um, follow up on the question that Jatana just answered, mm -hmm. there's a lot of marketing sites out there, influencer sites that you can apply to campaigns. And, um, there, there's just a whole, I mean, I, I, I belong to about 30 of them, maybe even more than that. And you can, um, it connects brands to, to, to influencers, uh, like yourselves. And uh, then you can apply to these campaigns and, and that's one way. And then also you get a lot of the offers. Um, eventually you're going to have to have a PR team. I, I have a PR team that handles a lot of my um, requests just because it's, it's, it gets to the point where it's really overwhelming. Um, and you want to have like professionals that can, can really be able to negotiate your deals for you. Um, but uh, yeah, it's an exciting process. And, um, and then to answer your question about um, does... <laughs> um, to answer your question about the uh, hashtags, uh, how to come up with hashtags, um, what I do, I, I just look at what, what, what's in my content. And uh, so let's say like today, I just posted a sailing picture of, of my cat and I sailing. So I just created, um, I just started to type in like sailing and boating. And I usually pick hashtags that are between 50 and a couple hundred thousand. And as you're typing different words that come up in your mind, you'll, you'll see like it, it, Instagram it shows it. So it's like you're typing in Google and then the words start showing similar thing happens in Instagram. So you just, it just kind of, you just keep, you create the, the hashtags as you go. So I literally just, um, come up with the hashtags as I'm typing them. Um, I did actually have a service for a while where we were, where we were creating hashtag sets for people. And that is still an option. If so, if you absolutely don't want to create hashtag sets, um, that's something that um, I could help with if um, you really wanted to do that. Um, but otherwise, just kind of typing it in. Um, and there is, you know, that you can research them, um, but typically keeping them around 50 to, to a couple hundred thousand and then having a couple ones that are in a million in there, but um, not, you don't want to have a lot of them that are in the millions. So most of them, 50 to 100,000. So if you are, say, you know, you, you see what we do, you see what Lindsay and I know you've run, worked on our accounts. Um, you have a new coach. She's got, like Kelly said, 434 followers. <laughs> and she wants to really, on a budget, 
doesn't ha isn't making a ton of extra I'm not saying she just anybody in general um, is still working towards building their business and doesn't have a ton of extra income to put into marketing what can they do to build up likes on a on a, a, a you're limited on time obviously everybody's got a short amount of time what can they do if they sat down for 30 minutes and said I need to try to get a better following do, do you go and like like and comment on and follow one person or like what are some, what's something they can do on a limited amount of time and money uh, on a limited um, well <laughs> if you don't have time and you don't have money then you're kind of out of everything <laughs> you're screwed Just kidding. You, you usually have one or the other so it's um, <laughs> I'm just all right. So let me put a paint the scenario. You got somebody that works full time, who comes home. They're trying to work a beach body business, which is what we do. A lot of these girls on the call aren't full time coaches like some of the other ones. And yeah. so Callie works a full time job. So she's working a full time job. She comes home. She's like, I really want to work my beach body business. I'm not. Maybe she's not making the the difference to be able to hire somebody and outsource it. So I want to be able to just take that moment to um, maybe 30 minutes to make sure that I'm getting the biggest bang for my time. Um, do, and this is something that I've tried to do or try to teach, and I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to it, but I know Shalene Johnson, she's really big into this. She'll say, go to people's pages that are your avatar, somebody that would connect with you, right, on um, similar lifestyles. Like for me, it would be a mom who stays at home. I see her profile picture and some of her page page content and I'm like okay we're not similar lifestyles so I go to her page and I like three of her photos I comment on two and I follow her and I'm hoping that she'll follow me back <laughs> is that like a normal thing to do or is there a good tactic to use I mean there's a strategy I mean that's that's why um Jatana pays me to help her do this <laughs> there is a whole strategy to this and 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 uh it does take a lot of time to learn the strategy so um i'm i literally have a whole team now that does this and i'm teaching them how to do the strategy of how to build their followings um or how to because i build my clients followings um and what we do besides the program that we use is um you know we have to there is a strategy to know what accounts are gonna have followers that would follow you back and uh, so I guess if you were going to do this all manually, which would take a lot of time, um, is I would not, I wouldn't say liking people's stuff is going to be that helpful. Um, if you're going to, if you only have 30 minutes, I would say maybe commenting on somebody who has less than 10,000 followers um, that's in a similar category as you that only has maybe 20 comments on their posts, maybe saying, you know, I love your posts, very inspirational. That's maybe something that you could do. Um, and I guess doing that to maybe 30, 30 posts of different users that, um, that would be inspiring. But again, they would need to have less than 10,000 followers and they would have to have less than 20 comments. Um, but I don't even do that manually is myself. That would just take so long. Um, so I think it's going to, I think the main thing, if I, if, if I was starting, uh, I, I know when I, when I was first starting, I, I would post pictures that were going to be very relatable. And I think that's going to be key. If you don't have any money to put into marketing, then you really need to post content that's going to really get people's attention. And, um, and uh, having like a color palette is helpful. And that's, if, if you're going to post a beautiful sunset one day, then post um, turquoise water the next day. You want each post to really stand out from each other so that when you go to the page, you just want to like click on it. So really that's how I would just suggest like posting really striking photos. Uh, definitely leave your personal stuff for Facebook. Don't put your personal stuff on your Instagram. Not yet. Not until you're a celebrity because it's just, it's, I always say Instagram's for business, Facebook's for 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 your friends. Yeah. <laughs> so you're. I know. I'm sorry that wasn't the answer you wanted, but you yeah. know. It, I mean, I, it's it's true. I will 100% agree that I've been. I'm glad that I invested in my IG account. I've, it's 
it's been a payoff for me um, and my business. Um, I, Callie, to answer some of your questions, if you were to, if you were to sit down and you had a limited amount of time, um, the things that I've done that I've found to be really beneficial is, and I said this on team calls before and I've said it in coffee chats, but I will go search a hashtag that I love. Um, say the hashtag is platinum blonde hair, very generic. Like I'm looking for, and I go, I follow platinum blonde hair. Right. And then I scroll through the feed. And I find a girl who's just trying to share her new haircut that she just got. And she's posting it on our IG page and she's got 16 likes. That's me going, okay, she's just a normal chick. That's what I'm looking for. Just a normal chick who just got her hair done and she's super proud and she's posting about it. And so I like the picture and I comment, girl, that looks amazing. What kind of color did you use? And it creates that relationship. And she goes, oh, I use Euphora. And I go to this salon, I'm like, it looks incredible. And then I go and like, and then it's less invasive when I start to comment more because she's like, oh, this Jatana Jackson girl. Then she goes and looks at my IG page and that's where your IG page needs to set up, be set up for your storyline and what you want people to take away from it. And so finding those key hashtags that relate to you, blonde bob, platinum blonde, I don't care, whatever you want to, it is, top not mom, crazy mom, homeschool mom, I don't know what it is. Um, find those things, jump on those hashtags and start interacting and commenting because I think that's an organic way to start building relationships with people. So, all right, any other questions before we get to uh, 10 o'clock? <laughs> it's getting late. Um, so, how much are you, all right, so you can email, you can message, you can find JJ Yosh, Yosh on, IG, go follow him. Um, and if you have questions about his services, send him a message. And is there an email address they can reach you at if they want to email you, JJ? Yeah, I'll type it in. Thank you. I'll type it in. And and uh, again, if you don't have money and if you don't have time, I would uh, uh, message Jatana to promote the hell out of you on her social media. And, that's and I the try. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, because I'm always tagged, like, let me send my followers to you. <laughs> Get some more people. Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much, JJ. We appreciate your time. And um, we can't wait to see you on the cover of Men's Health. <laughs> and we want to see you as a coach on our team sometime. Yes. I, yeah, I, He's been I, asking, I, he's like, what is this thing y'all do? It's just weird. <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> like, you should do it. It's great. Anyways. All right. Well, thank you so much, JJ. We appreciate it. Have a great night, everybody. And hope you uh, benefited from this. We'll send you a recording, JJ, so you can watch it back. Bye, guys. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone.